Affirmative action has offered a pathway to opportunity for generations of students of color. It has taken steps to diversify our campuses and it has made for a more just America. It's personally unfair, passes over better qualified students, and sets a disturbing legal, political, and moral precedent. The Constitution says no state shall deny any person equal protection of the laws. Notice it doesn't say that everyone has to be treated the same. Once you start saying some people are more equal than others, to borrow from Orwell, uh, with a multiracial society like we have, you get into an impossible racial spoils system. Affirmative action is consistent with the text and history of the Equal Protection Clause. The Equal Protection Clause permits colleges and universities to consider many characteristics. Sexual orientation, political persuasion, gender, whether or not you're from Ohio. Note that it doesn't say anything about protecting some races differently from other races. It applies to all races. Whites and Asians who are excluded or overlooked to admit less qualified members of racially preferred groups. No one's looking at just the race box. We're actually looking at the entire application and getting a sense of who that student is as a person. You can't look at somebody and say, oh, you're black. You must have this background and this perspective. You've got to look at the individual. It is not discrimination to say that one of the things that's considered, in addition to athletic talent or legacy, is also what does a student add based on his or her race to the diversity of the school. It's wrong to equate preference with discrimination. Should racial preferences end by 2028, as the Supreme Court said in 2003, or 2050, or 2100, or 2200, or is this system of racial discrimination forever? Today, race matters not because it should, but because it does. And there is nothing in the Equal Protection Clause that says we have to ignore that reality.